Hey guys, uh, welcome to a new video. In this video today I'm going to show you how to change the battery in a 2015 MacBook Pro. Um, this is, I already got the back cover off of it here just to show you. Uh, if you're not sure if you need to replace the battery then one way to be able to tell is to have it on the tabletop um, how you normally have it sit and then go ahead and just press on the on the top corners and see if it rocks. Um, if it rocks then it means that your battery is starting to bulge a little bit here um, and if it's starting to bulge then it will push up and put pressure on the bottom of the case here um, and then when you loosen up the screws on the bottom what you're going to see what you're going to notice as you loosen it up is that there's a gap right here and that is because the pressure of the battery is pushing the case up so uh, you don't want that. Basically, if the if your laptop starts rocking on the table, if it feels like it's it's got a high center in the middle of the laptop base here, then your battery is starting to expand, and it's probably time to replace it. So uh, what I have here is a battery. Oh, you also want to have a can of spray the the compressed air, uh, a can of that to spray out because quite often you'll find fuzz under here. You'll find junk in the in the fan that you'll want to spray and, and blow all that crap out of there so um, I bought this particular battery off of Amazon I'll leave a link to it in the description um, I've ordered I've used a number of different types of batteries I think what they do is you have a company that will um, have a advertise the battery they'll sell a run of them for a while and then for some reason that brand closes up and goes away and it'll pop up under another brand so I'll try to keep the link in the description uh, up to date but um, if, uh, if this particular one is out of stock, then just go ahead and, and search for another one based off the, with the model number. Um, like I said, this is a 2015, so the, inside the, the box comes this battery, and uh, it'll have a couple of screwdrivers here. These are like small, let's see if I can get it to focus on them. These are small Torx uh, screwdrivers. Um, uh, I can't remember exactly what size it is. I'll leave it in the description if I can find it because I have a, another set somewhere. Um, so yeah, you're going to get the battery and it, it should come with a couple of screwdrivers. And so the battery in this laptop, if you are not familiar with taking these things apart, is this set of uh, six cells right here on the bottom. Uh, these are all part of the battery. And it's uh, a little bit of a challenge to get, to get loose because they glue each of these down so you have to to play with it and fight with it a little bit to get it to come loose but um, yeah I'll go ahead and show you my method of doing it and this is not a uh, tutorial this is just a, a how I do it um, you do have to be careful because these are lithium batteries and you don't want to puncture the the um, the, the, the battery enclosure uh, so if you're not comfortable doing it, I definitely recommend you take it to a professional to do it for you. Um, if you take your time, you can get it out. Just be very careful not to, to puncture it. Um, so, yeah. I'll go ahead and set up the camera here and show you how I go about doing this. Okay, so I'm set up and basically what you want to do is you want to pry each of these up. I have a different uh, a number of pry tools here. This is a little scraper I got that came with a bottle of Goo Gone that I ordered. Uh, it actually works really well for this because it's a wide blade and you, you're less likely to puncture the, the battery. You can see this is how it's getting a little puffy here now. Um, I also have this. This tool was uh, one that is for using, for let's see, it's for popping um, door panels on cars. So if you want to install speakers and whatnot, um, there's this one. I also have this metal one, which I uh, used before. I'll leave some links in the description below to um, different tools if I think they'll work. Um, so basically, it's got double-sided tape that holds this down. So you want to be careful not to crack. Um, like this is a speaker here. This is another speaker. You want to be careful not to crack different parts of your board. Also, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself here. We need to peel this back and uh, unplug the battery. So just take it off and set it off to the side. This is the battery connector here. It has a couple of screws holding it in. Just 
just set them off to the side. Batteries unplugged. Oh wait, this isn't the battery actually. Um, this is the touchpad connector. So it has a little sticky cover over that, and this. Uh, let's see here if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's got this little black piece here that flips up. And when that flipped up, you can pull this cable out. So I'll go ahead and set that off to the side. This is the battery connector here, so we can pry this up. Okay, and the battery's disconnected. There's a couple of screws here and here. This is a smaller one here. Okay, that's disconnected. And now you just gotta take your time and work the battery up without bending or breaking anything. So what I like to do is just start prying lightly And uh, work my way under. So all I'm doing now is just scraping the tape that's holding this down. There's two strips, which I'll show you here when I get it. This works pretty good because it's super thin, um, but you have to make sure that you're actually prying on the tape and not on the battery. You don't want to get stuck on the connectors on the battery here. And directly under these two is the touchpad, so you got to be careful not to damage the touchpad as well. And really stick these things down.
See, these have three, these have three, this has one here and a couple here, this has four. And uh, basically just have to keep working at it, get all that tape loose. There, so here's the old battery. I actually did manage to poke a hole in this one. Okay, now that we got all the stick them off of here, uh, it's time to put the battery on. So, here is the sticky side. You want to line these holes up where it's going to screw in. And with that lined up, you can go ahead and work the batteries into place. And cinch them down. Okay, so what I'm going to do is wiggle this back in here, plug the battery in, okay, that's snapped in, I can get these screws put in. These are tiny little guys, so... Make sure your screwdriver is seated in the screw nice and tight. If it's not, you can end up stripping the screwdriver because these are pretty cheap, poor quality. That's why they can give them away for free. Okay. Now, this is the uh, touchpad cable. If you don't get this in right, then your touchpad may not work. So just take your time and uh, wiggle it all the way in. Hmm. The little sticky pad sometimes comes off with the ribbon cable. In this case, it's stuck on the side, which makes it a little bit harder to put back in. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this and stick it on here. It should make it a little easier to push in. You make sure this little black it has this little tab here. Make sure that this is flipped up, otherwise it, when it's down it, it'll clamp on the table so you won't be able to push it in if that's down. There we go. Make 
make sure it's in nice and snug. And then once that's in, that little black tab, you can push back down. And then, make sure that this plug is lined up correctly. When it is, it should just pop right in, just like that. Okay, now, we've got this little guy here. connector attached. We have these two little screws here. Just make sure it's snugged in. Doing it. Okay, put this little guy back on. Oh, this is this way, wasn't it? I think. All right. Now we can put this back in place, and you'll notice. With a new battery, there's no gap here anymore. It fits nice and snug. Also, in the set of screws that came off this thing, there's two screws that are shorter, and those two short screws go here and here. So, these screws go in at the edge of a bevel, and so, if you'll notice the angle, it's not straight up and down, it's off at an angle like that. The truth. Ah, battery needs to be charged. Alrighty, guys, I got this all charged up. It's a hundred percent, and we are good to go. So. Yeah, that's pretty simple. Um, takes a little bit of time. I think the total time elapsed for doing this was about a half an hour or so. So um, just allow some time, take your time. Like I said, I did puncture the battery in this one. Uh, not ideal. So just take your time and be careful. I'll leave links in the description below for tools, for the battery, uh, anything that might be useful for this. So uh, thanks for watching.